journey today. My name is Kerry Kennedy and I am a multi-genre author and I am self-published and I publish using Amazon KDP. On today's vlog I wanted to talk to you about scheduling posts because I find that being across social media takes us away from so much of our writing and editing and everything else that we need to do as authors. And like most of you authors out there, we've also got other commitments like family. You know, I don't have family, but I have pets. And then we have relationships and we have the dreaded housework. And also I myself, I work full time. I'm an executive assistant, so it can be a quite a busy role. And I discovered that by scheduling my posts in advance, I could save myself a vast amount of time in the day. And this is what I wanted to share with you today because it's not always obvious to everybody that these tools do exist within the social media platforms. And I didn't even know that I could do it on Instagram. So I've recently just changed my Instagram account to a business account. So that's my top tip for today is to, if you are using Instagram, then do change it over to a business account because you can schedule your posts and the same with Facebook as well. So the platforms that I work across are Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest. I'm also on Goodreads and um, these platforms, you can all schedule your posts. So it does take a little bit of time in the mornings to do this. So it depends how creative I'm feeling on how long it can take me to generate posts for the rest of the day for the evening. On a Friday, I tend to spend at least 90 minutes on doing my scheduling because I like to have the Saturday and the Sunday pretty much post free because I have other commitments that we're doing a house reform at the moment. Now with Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Pinterest, Pinterest even, you can easily schedule. The greatest difficulty or challenge that I think most people might face is how, you know, it's nine o'clock in the morning, what do I even know what I want to post out later on in the day or six o'clock or eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night. But you know, you're an author, so you've got lots and lots of things to talk about. And no doubt if you've got more than one book out, you know, you can be talking about a lot of your books. And I like to send out motivational quotes in the day. I like to send out the good mornings, the good evenings, the good afternoons. I like to do reels on what my day is involving, where I'm at with word counts, uh, I like to talk about my books, I like to talk about what's coming up next. So, you know, there's just some very basic uh, ideas of what you could be scheduling on a daily basis. But it's entirely up to you what you schedule and how you schedule. You know, your audience is expecting what you usually post out. So, you know, don't start changing your formats to what your posts should be. But, uh, Definitely do try scheduling. So I'm going to step away shortly and I will be doing some screenshots for you and little walkthroughs of how you can do the scheduling because like I said earlier, you know, it's not the most obvious to a lot of people to think, oh my God, I could be scheduling my posts and saving myself the whole rest of the eight hours of my day or even 10 hours if you schedule your posts like I do. I schedule my posts up to eight and nine o'clock at night. And the reason I do this is because a lot of my followers and my engagements are with people who are in America. And I also have a significant amount of engagements and followers who are in Australia. So to encompass all the different time zones, I find that if I'm posting out quite late at night, then the people that are following me who might miss posts or aren't going to trawl through a lot of posts or even just click on me and see, it's going to come into their vision so they will be able to carry on seeing what I'm doing because not everybody has the time to think oh you know I follow this person that person and that person and I want to see what they've been posting I mean obviously we do do that but not everybody does that so it's important that you are posting across different time zones based on who your audience is now I will be doing a little reel um in a couple of weeks my one of my vlogs will be touching on how to look at the analytics of your audience, which I think is invaluable. And for me, it certainly has been. And for engagements, I tend to be across my social media in the mornings, late morning, earlier.